coming in hot. Buffalo Bills 360. Uh, thank you again for your comment on YouTube. Uh, curious what you guys think about the CB2 battle now that the preseason is unlikely to happen. Going into week one, who do you think it is? Josh Norman, Levi Wallace, or somebody else starting at CB2? That's, I think it's a cool question. Pause for effect. <laughs> I literally just want to sit here for 10 minutes and listen to you talk about how Dane Jackson's going to steal this two <laughs> Well, he's not stealing it right now. <laughs> oh, God, because they said, listen, when they came into camp last year, it was it was it seemed like it was Levi's to lose because he earned it the previous year. At the sure did. Yeah, Levi looked great. He did. I was really excited about what he was going to be. I think the Bills are too because you you bring in Josh Norman, who is not the Josh Norman of 2015. We all know this. Yeah. But in this type of offense, he can get between where he was in Washington and where he was in 2015. I think he's going to land somewhere in the middle there with okay. the way that this defense is set up. Okay. That being said, I think he gets out of the gates faster and allows uh, Wallace to be like, okay, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. And he gets in Norman's ear. Hmm. I think that's – but I think they'll give Wallace a chance at the beginning to be the starter. Like, even with the abridged preseason and stuff, Norman you think is going to come out of the gates faster knowledge-wise. Maybe not with his feet. Maybe not with his quickness. Maybe not with this. But they're both built from such a same similar mold to me. Mm -hmm. I think that's why Norman was here because they do – they are very high on Wallace and his potential. I know you hate that word. It's a dirty word. It's it's a very a dirty dirty word. word. It's a very dirty word. But he's on a very short leash, I would say. Wallace or If Norman? Wallace starts, mm -hmm. you're going to see a very short leash. Or they yeah. might mix it in where he's like, listen, we yeah. want to see how you're down in the slot. How are you down in the slot? We go, if we put Norman Wallace and Trey on the field in a nickel package, how's that look? Wallace, he really does struggle in man coverage. Like, that's, that's just the truth. He struggles in man coverage. That's what got him in trouble last year. Was they they put him in man coverage situations and it it just didn't go great. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm actually of the thought process similarly that Wallace is likely going to be the starter because he's been here. Right. Yeah. And yes, we could say everything we want about you know Josh Norman is reuniting with Sean McDermott, but he's never played for Leslie Frazier. Mm -mm. So that should only help him. Well, I mean. I think everybody's drawing the connection because it was so strong between Norman and McDermott, but it's not McDermott's defense. It's Frazier's defense. So it, it is Frazier's defense. And but it is very cornerback friendly. It's a very cornerback friendly system. Well, let me follow up with this question. Was Josh Norman brought here so Frazier and or McDermott could concentrate on the other two levels of the defense more? Because if you put Norman back there with Hyde Poyer and Trey, it's like you don't even have to coach that. They're going to do what they're going to do. They know their jobs. If, yeah. if it was them them three and Wallace, you're like, okay, we got to coach him up. I'm just putting it out there. You say, okay, listen, the back end, these guys will take care of themselves. They're savvy vets. They'll do what they need to do. We're going to focus on the second level and the first level. So I'm going to say something. I think you're going to get mad at me. What? Have that, has that ever stopped you? <laughs> no. No. You Matter of fact, you almost you looked at him. Funny you bring that up. Uh, no, it has never stopped me. There was chatter that Micah Hyde might not be excited about playing in 2020. After the Poyer deal? No, no, no. Just about, you know, uh, about playing if he had to be quarantined, if that's the way the league goes. Okay. He didn't, he wasn't excited about playing football in a situation where he had to be quarantined. Okay. He would, take, he would opt out of the season. Oh, uh, I know where you're going. Yeah. I think, know where you're Just think going. about it for a minute, right? Norman has never played safety, but, and they didn't sign him with that intent. So let's just be real. They did not sign him with the intent of him playing safety. Um, but if Hyde does decide that this isn't what he wants, he gets until Monday. I love this idea. Right? I love this idea. Time sensitive here. This, this one's time sensitive. Why? I mean, why not? 
wouldn't you? Would you give Norman a shot at playing safety? He's why got not? the knowledge. Why not? He's got the knowledge. And he's got. He could be that center fielder. He's not going to play. He a, he's not going to play a Poyer role. He'll no, play a center fielder. He'll, 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 he'll play the Micah Hyde role where he's exactly. just very Champ Bailey. But Chant, very, very Champ Bailey, very Charles Woodson. Yeah, like yeah. before before those guys switched, they never played there either. So right, it's well, not a big. And, deal to me. And they were elite level athletes, and Norman is as well, right? And and Woodson made the move at the right time. Um, Bailey yeah. did not. Bailey was at corner for a long time mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. he finally started playing a little bit of safety right at the end of his career. And and Norman's getting close to that area where you would start looking at that as a possibility, just yeah. from a flexibility standpoint. Yeah, I don't think it was their initial intention. No, for him. When they first signed him, because you didn't know about the, the high information. But now that it becomes apparent, your insurance policy for a CB2 now looks like it might be an insurance policy for a safety. Possibly. Like, we're not. I like the idea of putting a guy that knows the defense, that's very that's very skilled, knowledgeable. I mean, the high IQ guys is what McDermott and Frazier love anyway. Right. They love the high IQ guys. Having familiarity with McDermott helps him with Frazier to communicate. Right. Now, that being said, if if you needed to move him, there's an adjustment period, yes. But if you were to tell me that between Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde, where does where does um where does Norman lie on there? He's more toward Hyde, but we 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 can't we can't forget how physical Norman was at the cornerback position. Yeah. So, in some scenarios, he may drop down. Some, not a lot. Some. So, I think he's he's more physical as a corner, but he could be just as physical as a safety in directing traffic back there. Yeah, I'm, I agree with that. And if I look at the other safeties on the roster, if I'm minus Micah Hyde, I'm not. The drop off is huge to me, right? Mm-hmm. So the drop off to Jaquan Johnson, who's not that center fielder, right? Like they, you just look at the type of player, and they're really depending on Hyde to be there. Mm-hmm. And they've always had that veteran safety. They've always had one. I don't know if they have one right now because it was Raphael Bush before. It was Jim Leonard. Remember Jim Leonard? That was way. That was that way. It was, was, was way, way, way long ago. But they've always the Bills have had a tendency to always have that safety who has experience with the coaching staff at some level or could be depended on to start. But again, not in that, you know, just, I don't think this team has that veteran safety on it, that journeyman veteran safety. Not saying Norman is that obviously, but I think he's at a position in his career where you you really have to start looking at that versatility. Can you move Gaines back there? Nope. Can you move, like, who else could you move back there? I don't think anybody else fits the mold. I think Norman. I think Norman can, but that brings up another one. So let's talk about Gaines versus Levi Wallace. We talked about this last year. Gaines didn't even make the team. Go be on the field to make it. Yes, <laughs> that helps. I think that, that <clears throat> obviously you worry about injuries, mm-hmm. but that doesn't that doesn't drive your decision making process. Right. Even though being McDermott have been really good at getting insurance policies for certain positions. I've always been good at that. Let's say Milano has another injury. You got AJ Klein. Okay, so you did that. You co- you know you're covering yourself four positions. You end up losing Harrison Phillips last year. Well, now you, you double down with Butler and Jefferson. Right. So you do these things. Star decides. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> peace. So that all being said, they probably looked at their roster and said, "Listen, if Levi progresses the way he does, we have an insurance policy like a Bush to back up the safety positions." Because Norman will have the knowledge to go back there. Will he want to? I think he, like any player, would like to extend his career. If, yeah. if McDermott and Fra- – see, here's the thing that's beautiful about this plan. McDermott and Frazier are the cornerback whispers. Yeah. If exactly. they say you're done at corner, you're done at who corner. else is signing you? Right. So it would behoove him to even test the waters. Yeah, let me try it. Let me see if this works. Well, unfortunately, with no preseason, there's gonna be there's there's no there's there's no batting, the there's no batting practice. You know, like there's just 
it's it's live. That's it. You're you're in it. You're throwing. You're getting thrown right into the fire. Mm -hmm. So, do I think he can do it? I have absolute faith that Josh Norman can play safety if he had to. Hundred, I'm a hundred percent with you. I think he could. <clears throat> do I feel different about EJ Gaines to Levi Wallace versus Levi Wallace to Josh Norman? I do. I think Norman's the stronger corner, but I also know that this team knows that. Norman's not a long-term answer either. No, no, and and now there is Gaines, right? If you if you're starting if you're starting Norman or Gaines, it's because you've lost faith in the fact that Wallace can be your CB two for the next two seasons. So could it have been a scenario where it took a year longer to, to figure out that Wallace was the defensive version of? Foster. Foster. Oh, Robert Foster? Yeah. Oh, so good enough for 6 and 10, not good enough for 10 and 6? Well, he was good enough for 10 and 6, but then he, he got exposed. So unless he makes some severe improvements, which we didn't see out of Foster, right? that's – I mean, but I like Wallace. Like, I do that, too. That's what happens. I do too. That's what happens in this town with the players. You know, I, I like Wallace in that position. But if he's going to keep – if I can steal a line from JR, <laughs> be like a government mule – Um. You got to do something else, and that's maybe maybe the Norman signing was a wake up call for him. Maybe. Listen, man, you got to get this together. Oh or, yeah, or, that's it. That's gonna be intimidating mm -hmm. to have a player like Norman walk in mm -hmm. because that is a that is a savvy guy. That is a guy that can get the job done. Yes, no question. It's a good question. Great question. Hopefully the nation. We we didn't answer it. We talked about normal movement to safety. What did that have to do with the CB2 position? Near the end of it, we did. Oh, all right. I'll take that. Sorry. Who do you got starting? You said you got Wallace starting? Yeah. I got Norman starting. Okay. Bet. Mm. Seema with Jolly Ranchers in it. <laughs> okay. I, how about a natty? How about a natty light uh, Canelina lime mixer, or in Aloha Beaches? Okay. If I if, if Wallace starts the first game at corner, I will drink that. If Norman starts the first game at corner, you have to wear my star jersey. Outside of the car. Oh my god. It's still a Bills jersey. You're not gonna beat it up. Quitter!